Hi, my name's Ian and I'm a volunteer here at the National Coal Mining Museum. And behind me is the start of a process where we treat contaminated wastewater that is pumped out of the mine. It goes into this weir, spills over and be starts to become aerated and that starts the process of turning the water orange. This is called the aeration tank. This is the second stage of the process where the water is collected in what we call the balancing tank. You'll notice the water has already started to turn orange as it becomes aerated and soaks up oxygen. The orange is what we call ochre or ochre and it's a form of rust. This is the third stage of the process and these are called the sedimentation tanks and this is where the polluted water which is already orange the ferric hydroxide or the rust particles now to begin to drop out of solution. That is then harvested and can be used in other applications such as pigment for artists or for other materials. This is the final stage of the process where the mine water is given what we call a final polish, that is to say all the impurities are taken out of it. And the reed beds do that, but it's more importantly the reed bed roots, not the reeds themselves. An additional side benefit of this is the creation of a natural habitat for wildlife such as birds. So we're here at the final stage of the process and this is called the discharge point. The treated water now enters into the local water course, which is Smithybrook Beck, which then feeds into the River Calder at Horbury Bridge, which then eventually feeds into the River Roos and finally into the Humber Estuary. So it's an important process. If you want to learn more, come and see us at the National Mining Museum and join us on a tour and we can give you more information about the whole process.